What is going on? This is Darius from Auto Fair Nissan here, and today we're going to take a quick look at this 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Let's check it out. Under the hood of the truck, we're going to get the 3.8 liter V6 engine that's going to make you 310 horsepower. That's going to be paired to a nine speed automatic transmission and a four wheel drive transfer case with a locking rear differential because this is the Pro 4X. Uh, this is also on hydraulic struts, so no prop rods to be found here. And close that up right there just as proof look at that it didn't break any prop rods because there are none uh, right underneath the badge here we're going to have our front facing camera which is going to activate automatically in four low and also come on as part of your around view monitoring system as well as cameras on that mirror and that mirror so you're going to have four all around cameras uh, to give you that overhead style look and as well as a couple of your different angles pro 4x is going to get you the slightly revised bumper style and your lava red tow hooks underneath you get two of them they are in closed style um, so it's not going to bend out like you could if it was just an open j hook uh, led lights here you got your running lights above and below here your headlight itself in the middle and then your fog lights down low i've seen a lot of people take uh take orange marker lights and run them through here too it looks really nice on these trucks come around the side a little bit you're gonna get hand cooked dynapro et2 tires uh, which are going to give you some good performance on the trails, off-road, snow, what have you, and the machine finished two-tone uh, Pro 4X wheels right there. You also get the mud flaps uh, on the, the back of the uh, fender right here as well. Uh, the Pro 4X can also get this nice styled running boards here. So it's like the individual Nerf bars, which are nice, and they're like a bedliner-esque material. So it'll give you great traction getting in and out in the winter. Unlike some of the plastic ones, it can be pretty slippery uh, if it's just smooth plastic. But that also gives a nice look to it, too. If we back out here, you get a nice side profile of the truck. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, Pro 4X is going to have crew cab 5-foot bed. Uh, you can see one of your LED bed lights on in there and your top lights there. You can come around to here, give that a little pull. It is assisted release as well as assisted closing so i can just kind of one hand this no problem but i'll drop it back down so you can see you get your utility track rails along the top edge spray and bed liner in here got a few more tie downs in there throughout the bed as well as your plug right there so you can run some tools or equipment out of that if i lift this back up like i said just one hand that's all it takes come down here you're going to see you got the tow hitch receiver as well as your four pin and your seven pin receiver so you can get your trailers hooked up um right down here on the bumper you're going to have four spots that are going to have your backup sensors so that's going to be for your rear automatic braking function nice pro 4x emblem right there as well give you a side of this one very cool now i'm going to come up here i'll show you the sticker real quick so if you want to pause it on the sticker here i'll show you a few different parts of it just uh, get up a little bit closer in there. Lots of standard equipment on these trucks, but also the optional equipment is really nice on this one. It's got convenience and technology package, as well as like your off-road protection and stuff, but the convenience package is gonna get you all those nice features you're seeing here. Off-road protection right there, and then technology is gonna be all the safety features. So uh, fuel economy on this, as you see on there, EPA estimate 19. I've seen people getting a little higher, a little lower, depending on the driving style. But let's take a look at the inside. All right, looking from the back seat here, I've got this seat up so you can see the storage up underneath. It's gonna be like that on the other side as well, uh, except a little bigger, because it is a 60-40 split, so the 60 side is gonna get that middle compartment as well. Whole bunch of stuff in the back here for you. Let's try to brighten that up a little bit. Uh, you're going to have all your floor mats in there. The box is going to have your uh, utility track tie-down cleats. And then you've got your uh, Adventure Medic and Off-Road kits right there. If we want to put that down, whoop, you just got to hit the little release here. There's a lever. And that's going to pop it open. Let us drop it down. you got your uh, armrest in the middle here that folds out. So you get that in there. Two cup holders. And uh, you got the sliding back glass here as well. If we give this a little pull... We can drop that down as well. You got your uh, jack and your jack tools back here. I know it's a little bit hard to see, so just bear with me. Um, also, when I had one of these, I used to take the rear headrests off and stow them behind here when I didn't have passengers in the back, just for the added visibility out the back glass. So I'd like to be able to see out of this area as well. 
So that's one way that you could do that if you don't have passengers in the back often. Let's go up to the front seat. As we approach the inside here, you're gonna have your lava red accents all around in the truck, as well as in contrast stitching on the seats. The seats are gonna be the Pro 4X premium cloth with the uh, contrast stitching, full power seat for you as well. Uh, down here, you're gonna have a wireless phone charger. You can see more of those accents throughout. Uh, down here on this panel, you're gonna have some extra controls there as well. You got your traction control, you got your rear locking differential, cargo lamp, downhill speed control, audible alerts for your safety, and then your 400 watt um, plug on and off button right there. So you can activate the plug in the bed using that switch. Tow haul mode's gonna be there as well, and that's gonna reduce transmission shifts, kind of keep it uh, idling a little bit higher RPMs. And then you've got your brightness for your dashboard and then your trip computer controls right there. Automatic headlights, fog lights right there. Those are pushed forward into the high beam setting so that the automatic high beams can function. So right there in auto will be all auto high beams. And we're gonna get into start talking about the rest. Here we are from the driver's perspective. So looking on the left side of the steering wheel, you're gonna have your controls for volume previous and next for your music, as well as enter if you're in any sub menus on your advanced drive assist display up here. Uh, and then this left and right button are gonna cycle through those menus up here. So I'll just prop it up here so you can kind of see some of those. You got your digital speed, all your angles for off-road. So you have your, uh, your angle of roll and your pitch right there. Um, auxiliary gauges are gonna give you a whole bunch of good information, especially for if you're towing or doing some pretty heavy duty off-road use trip computer, fuel economy, that'll go up as you're driving. Right now we're idling, so it's low. Uh, current music, current navigation information, current speed limit, uh, all your driving aids and safety technology, and then your last tire pressure will pop up on there uh, once you start moving. Typically they'll all pop up uh, right around the same time once you're rolling, and you'll see those kind of go up a little bit. Like right now, uh, it's pretty cold. It's only 35 degrees, so they're a little bit lower than what they would typically be, you know, while they're actually going down the road. Uh, and then you've got idle start stop in this vehicle. Um, a lot of people ask how to disable that, and I will show you the button for that. Uh, it's going to be right down here on your dashboard, right next to the hazard. So you just give that button a tap if you want to turn it off uh, while you're driving or once you start the vehicle, anything like that. Uh, so lots of good information to be had on there on that dashboard um, and a lot of good controls on the steering wheel here. On this right hand side, you're going to have all your cruise control. Um, this here is going to be for distance pacing. So this does have the intelligent distance pacing function to actually slow you down uh, as you're approaching other vehicles. Um, and then your controls up here are just gonna be set, resume, or you can use that to increase or decrease your speed uh, as you're going down the road. Now in the middle here, we're gonna have our nice big touch screen. You do have the big premium touch screen in this Pro 4X. Um, does have built-in navigation, does have uh, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, as well as, let me just make sure the volume's down there, um, all your regular interface here the nissan built-in system is actually pretty pretty comfortable and easy to use you got this camera button right here that's going to give you that front view with that camera i pointed out in front and then your overhead style hit it again that's your passenger side front wheel so you can actually see when you turn the wheel that wheel on there moving in real time so it's great for uh, curbside parallel parking things of that nature uh, or if you're off-road it can help you kind of see things that are on the passenger side um, like rocks or branches, things of that nature. Uh, hit that camera button again, it goes out. And then if you go into reverse, that camera's gonna pop up automatically in the backup and the overhead, and you can cycle through those modes as well. Uh, on the backup one right there, you can see that middle line that's in blue right there. And then as we turn the wheel, it's in orange. That's gonna be a big help getting a, a trailer hitch lined up. So if you're backing up to a trailer, use that blue line, put the uh, trailer uh, connector right on that blue line and then back it up to the truck and you'll see the hitch poking out uh, or the trailer ball I should say if you do have that attached to the truck so that's really convenient for that I uh, go into park that's going to go away automatically you got down here are your lights and your buttons for your um, climate control heated mirrors defroster um, your fan speed and then your wheels here and here are going to be for your temperature because it is dual zone uh, move down a little bit, you're going to see heated seats. So the driver heated seat is on high right now. I'm actually going to turn it to low while we're sitting here. Heated steering wheel buttons right there as well. Parking sensors, USBs, and your heated seat for the passenger side. 
come down a little bit more. I know the visibility isn't great. It's a little bit on the darker side right now, but you get some storage in there, uh, a couple of cup holders, and then your wireless phone charger that I pointed out just a little while ago. Now we pop this open as well. We're gonna get a little bit more storage in here too. Very nice. This is nice and comfortable. It's like a nice material. It's almost like a waterproof kind of feel. It's really cool. Uh, I'll turn that off so you can hopefully see a little bit better in here. But you got your sunglass holder up top. No sunglasses in it today. Sorry, guys. And then your lights and your SOS button for your telematics in here. I think that pretty much covers everything that you probably want to see in a first look type setting. Uh, if anything else was a goal of yours to see that I may not have touched upon, feel free to let us know. Uh, comment below or get right in touch with us. I'm happy to answer questions. I'll answer questions in the comments if you leave them. Uh, but other than that, thanks for time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.